Welcome to Primo Recenter and our first look inside a brand new 2023 213RDS, one of Coachman's Apex Nano's most popular units. This is a floor plan they've had for several years and every year they've made little improvements to it. Couples absolutely love it. Keeps the weight low to again about 4,200 pounds here dry. Uh, it's seven and a half feet wide, so it's going to be again easier for things like an SUV to pull. It's going to slice through the air quite well. And it's one of the few floor plans in that smaller size and smaller weight category that does offer both a couch and a dinette. Uh, both can form beds, so kind of a great grandparents unit too. Um, or if you have maybe one child that occasionally comes, uh, the dinette here at the back is, uh, is a great bed for them. So just as we come in the door, uh, we've got a couple switches here. So we've got slide switch just right in the side of the door and then our awning switch so we can quickly grab some shade uh, as well. We have our exterior awning light here, so that'll light up the whole exterior. We've got a plug in here as well, just by the side. We've got a tremendous amount of counter space here in the kitchen and storage. We've got a natural location for a TV, which we can either install a mount or mount and TV, should you wish. And that's directly across from uh, your couch, which has a couple of built-in footrests here. And again, great big windows here. So you've got the same size window in the kitchen and behind the couch, you're gonna get some great cross flow of ventilation. And then you couple that with your window here at the back, same size again. So you've got just a tremendous amount of airflow. And then within our off-grid package above you, we have our three-speed fan that as you get there, it will suck out the hot air for you. And then with all those windows open, you're just gonna get a tremendous uh, airflow. So if you're not on grid uh, and you're properly prepped with the right batteries, uh, you do have some solar on the roof as well. It's going to allow you to extend your stay and be very comfortable, even if you can't use air conditioning, um, on those hotter weather days. So into the kitchen area, we do have some more entertainment built in with our stereo. So we do have two exterior speakers out there. Um, you, can, you can stream music to them. Great pots and pan storage just below there. And again, in a smaller coach, you don't see much more counter space than this. So it's got a ton of space, ton of storage. You've got your furnace centrally located here between the back where your guests may be and where you are in the front bedroom at night. And then you've got your microwave there. Great little two burner stove that is undermounted as well as the sink. So again, that gives you that uh, tremendous counter space. You've got a beautiful stainless steel sink here. It's huge, nice high rise faucet. So easy to fill those pots for corn and lobster boil, hopefully throughout the summer. Great little storage as you come in the door here too. Great little spot to tuck away some shoes or sandals. And again, another cabinet here that could be used for that same thing, or it could be a little bar area for you as well. Some storage there just to be able to throw your keys and keep everything centrally located that you're going to want as you head out. And then you even have, again, two windows across the back that open with screens so you get some cross flow when you're sitting there perhaps in the morning. And uh, hopefully with a great view and enjoying some, some breakfast uh, inside when it may be a bit cooler outside. And then we've got great storage above there, great one for putting your games, books, things like that you're naturally going to want to have with you as you travel. And as we get into the bed areas here with the dinette and the couch, we do have our blackout shades here. So you can pull those down. So should you have guests, they're not going to be woken by the morning sun. We do have a lot of safety features here built in. So we do have our carbon monoxide detector, which is just below the floor here that's hardwired into the unit. And then we do have uh, smoke detectors as well as the standard feature. This is our thermostat in the wall here for controlling our furnace, which is just off to the right. And then we do have our AC unit here built in right in the middle. Uh, just ahead of our three-speed fan. We are equipped with LED lights throughout. So again, being more efficient on batteries uh, when you are off-grid, so allowing you to extend your stay, but also not heating up the coach, which incandescent bulbs typically did. So we've got a great off-grid um, setup here for refrigeration. So we have a two option, either a 120 volt plugged in, or we have a propane fed um, six cubic foot fridge with a separate freezer. It'll use a little bit of battery power to keep those lines open. Uh, on propane, but again, definitely geared to uh, potential to be off-grid should that be something in the future that you end up doing. You've got a great three-speed uh, three-place uh, bathroom here, so shower, sink, and uh, toilet. And then we've got our monitor panel in here, so you can kind of check on your tank levels here uh, before you head out on the uh, on the road. And then just below that, you'll see the two black switches with the red in the middle. Uh, that'll be your ignition for your hot water tank, so it is both propane and electric. We've got some great storage built in here. Again, some hanging storage as well as some storage in the vanity and the medicine cabinet. So again, great resources there. And then we do have a fan as well in the bathroom to help get rid of that humidity on the hotter weather. We've got a great little bedroom here with, again, some privacy with the curtains. So if you did have a guest, um, you're well set up. We have a emergency exit window here. So for any reason you couldn't get to the front, uh, the rear door, you've got a way to get out of the coach. 
Again, blackout shades here on both sides. We have the ability with screens to open both, so for ventilation. We've got an RV Queen here. We've got, uh, again, plugins for CPAPs on both sides of the bed, as well as USB charging. And then we are pre-wired for a television in the bedroom here as well, should you wish. And that is something where we can e even just add them out for in the future. You've got wonderful storage underneath the bed, so about a 50-50 split. That great windshield that we saw on the outside that's going to let in all that light. So even on a dark day, it's going to be a, a bright bedroom during the day when, when you may want that. And then you've got great hanging storage on either side and then tremendous amount of storage above your head there as well. And then a central little LED light for nighttime. So again, nice little privacy here. Um, being forward, having that bathroom as the divide. And then so at least if someone is more of a, uh, maybe a night owl, you know, you're towards the back, watching a movie, enjoying a book, playing some games possibly with somebody else. And then if certainly if somebody else wants to head out uh, a little bit earlier and head to bed, you do have that separation in this coach, which couples absolutely love and tends to be one we get a lot of customers that downsize to, but also many customers that may have that 18, 19 foot size that just want a bit more space and it fits their SUV as well as their lifestyle. We'd invite you down to Primo RV Center to come have a much closer look at this brand new 2023 Coachman Apex Nano.